I was messing around with Cold Mac and I set up a little survey experiment and I thought I'd just make a quick video here of what I came up with because it's it's sort of more on the melodic front than some of the other demos and maybe you'll find it interesting uh, it's not a nothing great but it, it shows off a little bit of the surveying concept with cold mag um, so I'm sorry the the, the, the the cable tangle here is pretty nuts but here's what you need to know um, first of all I'm I'm, I'm taking the uh, location here and that's that's whatever this offset is because that's the, the offsets normal into slope which is also normal decrease so that means that the, the value of this pot is currently going uh, into the location circuit and I'm taking that and I'm molting it out to the uh, fade input for left and right and I'm also putting it into the OR jack which means that it's feeding both uh, and an OR. So the, the logic circuit is getting it and the crossfader circuit is also getting it but the movement of this knob is getting uh, uh, well modified by the location circuit which is uh, sort of a a slewing thing. On the output side, I'm taking pretty much everything I can get. So uh, left out is going to mod the wavetable on an oscillator. This is, there are only two voices in this patch. One's an oscillator, one's a percussion module. So this is going to the, the wavetable on the oscillator. Um, right out is going to the speed input on Magneto here. Uh, so it's going to modulate the speed of Magneto, which I, I'm doing mainly because it's a really obvious effect. Um, or is going to the percussion module, which is Fracture, and, and that's the surface parameter. Um, and is going to percussion density on Fracture. The slope output is going to the percussion level, so it's going to my mixer and it's controlling the level of percussion in the mix. And then the crease output here is uh, changing the pattern on the numeric repetitor, which is what's giving us our percussion pattern. And, uh, and, and that's it. So the, the, the oscillator that we're hearing is an E370, just one of the voices. And the uh, the melody and everything is coming from Sapel. I'm just using a quantized uh, uh, random sequence here um, for the pitch, and then we're getting a, 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 a note pattern by using the Integra Funkadis just on the clock signal, basically. So, and, and the percussion's happening over here. There's a, a gate storm down here that's giving us our master clock. Nothing particularly interesting. Uh, triggering fracture, which is up here. Uh, so that's what you're hearing. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to mess with the survey knob. So what you're hearing right now is just it, it, it's just this, this whole patch in stasis right now. As soon as I start turning the knob, you're going to start hearing a variety of things all happening uh, to the patch. So, as I turn up the knob, now you've you've heard the, the percussion sound change. It's also gotten louder in the mix. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to I'm going to turn this knob from about five o'clock to about eleven o'clock. I'm going to do it very quickly. And you're going to hear a sudden change, but then you're also going to hear it continue to change because of the way that the location circuit works. When we're close to noon, but not at noon, it means that it's going to change its value in a slow fashion. And, and so that's going to cause this sort of lag effect.
So you heard Magneto freak out because the speed changed, but you also heard the wavetable gradually shift and the uh, percussion just kind of slowly faded out. And uh, we're now at this at this new state in the patch. Now I'm going to start turning this more counterclockwise. You can hear the percussion coming back in. That's because of the way that the uh, uh, was it the slope output works. It's it's that rectifying circuit that's bringing the value back up, which is crazy in the mix. So now that I'm at about seven o'clock, I'm going to quickly uh, flip this guy over to round one. Whole bunch of stuff just changed there, which I'm sure you can hear, and that's. That's basically what I have to show you here. It's just a fairly arbitrary example of, of uh, using this patch surveillance concept with called Mac. Um, how did I get here, by the way? The answer is experimentation. I basically, I started trying these different outputs in different places and I, I switched a few of them around because I, until I found something that I liked. There wasn't a lot of, um, careful thought that went into it. I suppose that the, the main one that I actually thought about was the was the using the uh, uh, the rectifying output here of slope um, for the mix because that seemed to make sense to me so that I'll get I'll get more percussion at the extremes and say close to close to noon get very little or none in this case. It's basically been mixed out. That's it. Hope it helps. <laughs>